Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today I decided to do a video of uh, freshening up the fireplace. Uh, like you can see, it's very dated. Nobody touch it, do anything with it the last 20 years. So me and my wife, we decided to freshen up a little bit, give it a little new look. So we started researching on what we want to do, what kind of style would we like to do. Do we just want to sand it and paint a different color? Do we want to take down everything and put stones? How much is going to cost us all the different kind of styles we would like to? So while I was doing that, I saw a few videos on the people who are using chalk paint. And I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. Let me look at it, all right? So the things that catch my interest is that that paint actually doesn't require sanding uh, and uh, that's gonna save me a lot of time and a lot of money and actually it looks pretty awesome you know so I decide to do that first and if it doesn't turn well then I can tear it apart down but if I can do a fresh enough for $50 instead of $800 I'll take that you know so I saw some people using um, the glossers first and all that stuff depending how polish your wood is mine is not much so I decided to go with just clean it up and paint it over and uh, let's see how this is gonna turn out uh, to clean it up I'm just gonna use a regular um, quote with cleaner that I'm using every single day in my kitchen for example you have to remove all the dust and any kind of residue from it before you start that so wish me good work let's start it <laughs> so uh, this is my helper let me show you that's my helper Mocha she helped me a lot to make that uh, project behind us uh, what is it right now right Say hi, baby. Say hi. Say hi. I'm Mocha. Right? <laughs> I know. 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 I <laughs> know. wanted to play. <laughs> what I did is I did not sand it at all. Right? Neither the stone, uh, the tiles, neither the, the frame, the wood frame, nothing. I just clean it up and uh, start painting. Okay? Uh, why I did that is... I wanted to see is it true that you don't need to, to send it when you're applying that paint right and uh, for me it was important because that was my small project and uh, I wanted to refinish the kitchen cabinets so that was the training for me to see how it's gonna work out and is it worth it to start with the kitchen and actually I'm very happy with the outcome I think I did a good job baby I did a good job and it saves me a lot of time and a lot of money I spent like $50 to do that uh, freshen up of the fireplace and around maybe six hours spread in like three different days uh, so I think it's worth it overall <laughs> baby <laughs> mocha <laughs> she has a lot of energy <laughs> oh so, um, <laughs> let, me <tell> <laughs> let me tell you something very important. If you decide to go my way, what you need to know, okay, you need to um, apply more than a three coats, okay? Because, like I said, I didn't send it, so all the all the polish of the wood is there, as uh, as well as the tiles. So three coats and more, I did. Why is that? Because that paint is a it's a it's a water-based paint. Okay, so after you apply the paint, you you, you need to put a, a final coat on it. Okay, to seal the paint, uh, to protect the paint, to make it easy to clean and all that stuff, not wash out. Okay, so I use a, a chalk paint for a finishing coat, uh, which I'm not very happy with that. You know, uh, it's a uh, when I start applying it, it start washing out my other paint. I have to repaint it again. You know, it's, it's 
a little bit tricky to apply it. You know, you need to be very careful when you apply it, very thin layers and all that stuff. So I think that was a, a, a wrong choice to use that finishing coat. I think the wax is actually going to do a better job. Uh, I'm not sure before I use it, but uh, I'm going to use the wax for the kitchen cabinets. And I'll let you know how this is going to turn out. Uh, but like I said, I'm not very happy with the choke finishing paint, you know. Uh, all the paint I get from Home Depot, just the one they have on the shelf. Nothing fancy, like you can see, just white, gray, right? Uh, Mocha baby. Yes, I know you helped me a lot. She helped me a lot. She helped me a lot. <laughs> Stop, baby. Mocha. I know, I know, I know. Ow. <laughs> so, yeah, overall, I'm very happy with that product. You know, I'm going to use it to uh, refinish the kitchen cabinets. And, um, like I said, uh, put a lot of coats. Baby. And uh, my personal opinion is use, use wax to finish it instead of chalk finishing paint, you know. I think it's gonna look better, it's gonna be uh, better to apply and all that stuff. So that is my experience using that paint. I hope me and Mocha help you if you decide to use that kind of paint. Okay? <laughs> uh, please, if you like my video, <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Uh, like I say, my next project is gonna be uh, my kitchen. And uh, me and Mocha, we're sharing the... Uh, <laughs> we're posting videos for dogs too, you know, and uh, all kind of cool stuff. So I hope I see you again.